hey guys thanks so much for tuning back into the channel today we are splashing the ranger z520r the uh, my boat for 2023 season just picked it up yesterday we're going to splash it for the first time get at least the first two hours of engine break-in done i'm going to go over in detail how exactly you're going to break in that mercury pro xs uh, the rpm changes and the time intervals and once we get it broke in, I might do a little bit of fishing. I'm still nursing this shoulder, but uh, pretty soon I'll be down at Lake Eufaula for the first bass open. So time to start loosening it up a little bit. Let's see what we can get done. Okay, here we go for engine break in. So per Mercury, the first two hours, you're going to run your engine. You're going to get it on pad. You're going to start out at 3,500 RPMs. You're gonna run it for a two minute interval. And then you're gonna go increase it to 4,000 RPMs, two minutes, increase it to 45, two minutes, drop it back down to 4,000, two minutes, down to 3,500, two minutes. You, you get the gist of it. You can you can adjust from, from you know, 32 to 4,000. You don't have to do those 500 RPM increments, but you wanna to try to keep it somewhere along those lines and then you're going to keep the engine trimmed down. You want you want that engine working under a load, and that's going to help seat everything in the engine properly. And you're really adjusting it by a little bit of trim, but really more your throttle. And you're going to maintain those RPMs. Watch your your time. I've I've got my time right here down to the seconds on my Lorentz unit. And every 10 minutes, you're going to run it wide open throttle for up to one minute. And then you're going to go back into the next 10 minute increment of two minute intervals 3200 rpms 3700 rpms you're going to try to increase it about 500 rpms up up into the 4000s and then come back down and then after that 10 minute interval we're going to run it wide open throttle for one minute and you're not your rpms are going to be somewhere we'll see where they get but they're going to be somewhere in the high 4000s for that wide open throttle one minute interval but you're keeping the engine trimmed down you're not trying to pad it out and see how fast the boat will go until you get at least that first two hour period uh, on the clock so I'll, I'll give you some visuals while i'm running show you what we're looking at i've put in i'm going to go down the tom bigby waterway if you're familiar with pickwick it's a straight waterway that runs out of yellow creek down to bay springs it's protected we got a little wind today so that way i'm not fighting waves i'm not struggling to maintain a steady rpm uh, you want to pick somewhere that's fairly protected a straight shot makes it easier on you for breaking the engine in let's see what we can get done Well, the GoPro died out on the lake, but I want to uh, finish up the video recap. I put a little over two hours on the engine. Uh, I'm through with the Mercury specified intervals and in time and RPMs. Now from two to 10 hours, I can run the engine uh, however I'd like to, but I cannot run it in wide open throttle more than five minutes at a time. Uh, naturally, I'm not gonna get anywhere near abusing that. I'm gonna take it pretty easy and I'll probably still alternate RPMs while I'm just cruising down the lake until I get to that 10 hour mark. But uh, the main thing is not wide open throttle for more than five minutes. And you really don't wanna just do a tremendous amount of idling in that time either. 
Um, you you want to you know have the RPMs going, make sure that engine seats the way that it should, and you're going to have an engine that'll that'll just last you for forever and and do what it's supposed to do. A couple of things to consider when you pick a location, and maybe even the weather conditions for breaking in an engine, you you're going to have your focus on the time intervals, the RPMs, so you don't want to go to a place that's hard to navigate because, believe it or not, you're sitting there looking at the clock, you're looking at your RPMs, you're more likely to lose focus on what's in front of you. You don't want to be somewhere where you got standing timber or a lot of shallow, hard places to navigate. And the, the most straightaway place that you can find where you just hold the wheel, steer to course and go is going to be the best place that you can pick to put those first two hours on your engine and get it broke in guys i hope this video helps y'all make sure and leave me a comment uh tell me what you think or any suggestions or or uh, guidelines that you go by when you break your engine in and we'll see you next time thank you